Hello and welcome back to another video on Unpack Technologies. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to adjust the keyboard settings on your macOS device. This will be done through the System Preferences app and it's a pretty simple process and it allows you to adjust many different options. So let's get straight into it. Alright, so we'll try to keep this tutorial nice and brief so that you can get to the settings that you want. So what we'll do, and this will work on all modern versions of Mac OS, including ones that date back a fair while because it hasn't changed all that much, this menu. But we'll go to System Preferences. Then we'll navigate to Keyboard, which is in the bottom half of the System Preferences pane here. So we'll click Keyboard, and then you can see there's a number of different options. So we've got all these different up options at the top, which I'll go through each of those. Um, and I'll show you what's available on each menu. So we can see under the keyboard one, which is the first one, we've got key repeat. The key repeat will adjust how um, quickly it repeats the keys as you're holding them down for a certain period of time. And this delay until repeat slider will adjust how long you have to hold before it will start repeating those keys. So you can adjust this to change how long it'll take before it starts repeating and then this one to show how fast it will repeat or you can just do nothing at all. Now you can also change what pressing the function key does. So by default it's set to do nothing but you can also have it to change input source, show emojis and symbols or start dictation which I'll go through a little bit later. And you can also uh, select whether you want to use the function row, the top row of your keyboard as standard function keys or whether you want to use them as the shortcut buttons that they provide by default like the volume changes or uh, mission control and things like that. So if you tick that it'll just run them as normal function keys. Alright so then if we have a look at the text section here you can see there's a few different options. So this text se section is mainly to do with if you want to make shortcuts to um, make something go into a certain text. So I'll demonstrate this uh, a little bit for you. So let's say that you wanted to do a little abbreviation here. So if we click the little plus button on this, we can write, all right, so say you want to write what are you doing? You could put, if you type WYD for what are you doing, you can then replace it with saying what are you doing? Question mark. So what that will do is if you type out WYD, it will then, as soon as you click space, it will go into what are you doing. So let's demonstrate the notes quickly here. I'll make a new note. Um, this is going to be an example note. And then if we write what are you doing, and then I can click space, it'll automatically go to what I've asked it to replace it with, with what are you doing. Same thing, this is by default uh, on my way, that one's programmed in by default. So if I type that in, we can go OMW, it'll ask if you want to replace it, you click space and then it writes in on my way. So that's a few um, examples of what this section does. And you can see here that um, the options are um, collects correct spelling automatically, capitalize words automatically, and add a um, full stop with a double space. They're on by default, but you can turn those off if you don't want auto correct to be running. And then you've also got some um, smart quote options here if you would like to use them. And at any time, you can actually click set up Bluetooth keyboard if you wanted to add in an additional Bluetooth keyboard uh, for your Mac device. Now, the next menu is shortcuts, uh, and this has a lot of different shortcuts that you can use with your keyboard, so any different key combinations that you might want to use to do something. So, these are the ones that are on by default here. So, for example, here, Mission C Control, um, which is the top one, is Control Up Arrow, so you can see uh, the little... Um, if you hover over these little symbols, if you're not sure what they mean, it'll then tell you what it is. So you can see here, control up arrow. If we click that, it enters mission control, as you can see there. Uh, if you want to see something else like show desktop, we can just click F11. Now, 
for if you're using the top row as the shortcut keys as I demonstrated earlier you'll have to hold down the little function key which is FN and then click F11 which will do the thing but if you've selected to use the top row dedicated for function keys you won't have to click the FN key and you can just click the F11 key but for most people you'll have to hold down F and for function and then click whatever uh, function key you need. And yeah, so at any time, if you're confused about what these mean, you can just hover over them and it'll tell you what buttons you need to click. And this here, that's showing mission control, but you can click on all of these different things and they'll have all the different commands that you can do. For example, in um, a lot of these things like screenshots, there's a lot of different options. And a typical one you'll see is the little um, command logo here, that's, that signifies command. Uh, that little up arrow there uh, signifies control. But at any time, you can just hover over and it'll tell you what you need to click. And then if you want to, you can restore defaults or use keyboard navigation to move focus between controls. Now, another option here is up in input sources. So we can see here that this is showing you the keyboard layouts that you've chosen for input. Now, we can actually show input in the menu bar if you want to be changing them quite uh, often. That's the little input button there. Uh, but if you want to add another keyboard layout, what you can do is click the little plus button. And you've got a number of options here. So let's say that I want to add a German keyboard layout. I can scroll down to find, this is in alphabetical order, I can find German here. And then this is the German default, or it might be, I'll just click on the German default here and then click add. And you can see that these are actually the different keyboards. So yeah, changing between these, clicking on them will change your keyboard layout. And it will, might just mean slightly different things. So your keyboard might be an English keyboard, but you might need to, I don't know, change it over to a different keyboard for whatever reason. Maybe you're learning the language or something similar. You can do that through this menu. And then if at any time you want to remove the um, keyboard layout, you can just click, click on it and then click the minus button and it will remove it for you. Now, the final option here is in the dictation section. So what you can do here is this will allow you to speak and it will convert what you're saying into text. So I'm going to demonstrate this in a moment here. And it says here, use dictation wherever you can type text. To start dictating, use the shortcut or select start dictation from the edit menu. So what we'll need to do is turn dictation on here and we'll click allow uh, enable dictation. And then we can see here that the shortcut by default is pre press control key twice. We can change that or we can just leave it the same. So I'm just going to leave that as press control key twice. And now if I go back into my notes here, I can press it twice. And then it will start dictating. Now you can see that this is actually working quite well. Full stop. So if I do a quick example, comma, Hello and welcome back to another video on Unpacked Technologies, full stop. You can see there that it works quite seamlessly. Now, there might be some minor things that you have to change eventually, but it works quite well if you just don't want to have to be typing everything out all the time. And you'll have noticed that when I wanted to put in a comma or if I wanted to put in a full stop, I actually have to say comma or full stop to put it in and you'll see that it's actually inserting it there. And then as soon as I'm done, I can just either start editing some of this and it will turn off or you could have clicked the little done button over there. And you'll see there that it's worked quite well and if you want to make minor changes at the end, you can. So if I wanted to swap this out um, to something like that, you can do that and then you can just remove any of it if you want to. So that's a good example of how dictation works. And if at any time you want to stop using it, you can just click the off button here. And then you can click turn off dictation. But um, I recommend leaving that on because it is a really handy feature uh, if you want to use it at any time. So I'm just going to reset mine to on. And yeah, so that's about it um, in terms of the keyboard settings that you have on Mac OS. Um, it is quite a thorough menu. So there's a lot to go through that you can change here. 
And there actually is one more setting under the keyboard saying you, where you can click modify keys. And this will mean that you can actually modify what your key does. So for example, I might want to swap my control key to act as com command and then swap the command key to act as control. And you can actually do that. And then that would work more like a Windows computer in the way their keyboards are laid out. So this will allow you to change what each key does. So yeah, that's a good overview of all the different options in the keyboard settings on system preferences. And hopefully this gave you great oversight and you've learned some new features that you didn't actually know existed. I can tell you that when I went through here, I actually found some new features that I didn't realize were in Mac OS and I think that they're really handy to use. And my personal favorite is actually dictation. Um, I really like using that. It saves a lot of time and it does seem to work quite accurately. So let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are and what your favorite feature in the keyboard section is. Thanks for watching this video on Unpack Technologies. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.